let's talk about oblique projection so in oblique projection the ray of projection makes any angle rather than 90 degree with the weaving plane so let's quickly dive into the main course and let's say that this is an object and this is any point of that object p which can be represented as xyz now what happens if i do an oblique projection let's say that after doing the oblique projection this point will be somewhat here uh, so let me draw this line right here let's call it as p dash and this is x x dash y dash and z value is uh, zero because it is at x y plane now the question is how to compute this x dash y dash value so for that i'm going to use the result of orthographic projection so if i do the orthographic projection this point will be somewhat here because uh, that makes a 90 degree angle with the weaving plane so this is clearly x y 0 because in orthographic projection x y remains same now let's say that this distance is l and this is making an angle alpha with the weaving plane so now how to compute this x dash from this x value so if let's say that if i go this m distance here uh, i will get this x dash and if i go uh, n distance at here so this is actually n and this is m so if i add n with y I, i'm gonna get y dash and if i add m with this x if we travel m more distance in x axis i'm gonna get this x dash so let's also say that this angle is theta now using these parameters i can compute the value of all of this so let's try to see how i can do that so x dash is clearly x plus m so what is the value of m so if i uh, look at this triangle so this m is actually perpendicular so if i write uh, so uh, if i write uh, m uh, by l that will be cos theta so m will be l cos theta and similarly if i see this n uh, n by l will be sin theta and so n will be l sin theta now so x dash will be nothing but x plus uh, l cos theta and y is nothing but uh, y plus n that is uh, y plus l cos theta now i need to eliminate this l how i can do that i can use this big triangle uh, with the help of this angle alpha so and one thing you should note that this distance is nothing but z because this coordinate is z and we traveled z distance uh, to project this so so if i uh, take this triangle uh, then i can write uh, z by l is actually tan theta so so uh, i can write this as uh, tan alpha so l will be z cot alpha so i can put the value of l in both of this so if i put that x dash will be x plus z cot alpha cos uh, alpha and y dash will be uh, y plus z cot alpha and this one will be uh, sin alpha so we are done with this now let's try to represent this in form of homogeneous matrix so let's take a big matrix x dash y dash z dash and one and let's say something will be a transformation matrix and let's quickly write down the old coordinate now here in the first expression x dash contains x so i need an x uh, it doesn't contain it has no y so i can write zero here it needs z cot alpha uh, cos alpha so i can write cot alpha cos uh, cos is actually will be theta because we are computing that from this triangle smaller triangle so this is actually the theta okay now so this will be cos theta and we don't need this one so this will be zero now in the in the expression of y i need zero 
zero uh, x and I need one y so I can write one here and I need uh, z cot alpha sine theta so I can write cot alpha sine theta and I don't need any one so it's zero uh, z value will be surely zero and this one I can write this so this is that's it so in the next video I'm going to show you about uh, perspective projection so thank you